Louisiana Beer Reviews, Cerveza Superior. Okay, I bought this in Mexico at um, OXO, O-X-X-O, um, sort of like a 7-Eleven Circle K type place. No retournable bottle. Encho in Mexico from 1896. Now there's a new label. I noticed DJ did two reviews and there's another one. Um, <clears throat> but when I was in that town three years ago, Piedras Negras, they had the big bottles and I did see the big bottles t uh, when I was there, uh, but they, they had the new label. But the, the cooler was locked. It was locked again. I don't know what the story was with that. And the big, like, sort of like 40 ounce bottles and 32 ounce bottles they did have some down in ice in the front but they only had Dos Equis and some ones we can get here so I had to get the 12 ounce bottles um, anything else 1896 4.6% alcohol nobody under 18 that used to be the drinking age in Louisiana. Okay, original de Orizaba. There's the eagle. It's owned by Huatamac Moctezuma, which is Heineken, Mexico now. Wholly owned subsidiary of Heineken. They don't say much on the website. Basically, just it's good. You might like this golden lager beer. Pilsner, they say. Okay. Now, I believe the website was saying 4.5, though. Let's see. Um, yeah. Origin. Orizaba, Veracruz, Mexico. Oh, Veracruz. Okay. That's on the Gulf Coast. Uh, Gulf of Mexico coast. Color. Dorada. Gold. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Well, here on the bottle, it very clearly says 4.6. So, <clears throat> can't explain that. Beer Advocate says it's okay. There's only 22 reviews. Um, Rate Beer, I can't remember how many reviews, but they're saying it's a three, a 3 out of 100. In other words, it's horrendously bad. So I'm, I'm going to be curious to read those, and then I want to watch the two. Oh, yeah, Twist Cap. I thought it looked like a Twist Cap. I don't see those too much in Mexico. Um, it's probably going to be like that Jalisco, Estrella Jalisco, which was pale, straw. That was from uh, Grupo Modelo, a subsidiary of Anheuser-Busch InBev. That was very good because I was tired. I was at the um, Days Inn Hotel, and I just, like, laying around really trying to get the computer to work because their Wi-Fi wasn't too reliable and um, the Wi-Fi at the Knights Inn in Eagle Pass across the river from uh, um, Piedras Negras that Wi-Fi was very fast and reliable but anyway I don't know what it cost because I couldn't figure out the money and plus um, they charged me all this tax at the border, the Texas Alcohol Bureau, so it was no kind of value having to pay that tax. Lots of chunks. I mean, this beer has more chunks than anything I've ever seen as far as a macro lager. It's so cloudy. It's golden. I don't know if you can see those chunks. There is sediment galore in this beer. I mean, it is incredible. It is not very filtered. Not much of a head, thin white head. Let's see if there's sediment at the bottom. No? Well, now this is saying Monterey, Mexico. That's what, that's the big Heineken brewery today down there. Huatamac Montezuma Brewery. Okay, I bought two bottles. The only reason I didn't try twisting it at first because I didn't see the little arrow, but it looked like a twist cap. So, <laughs> all right. What's that smell? Oh, the smell is this Limburger cheese. <laughs> I was like, did I step on something? Step in something? But um, the Limburger, 
And then when I was at uh, Lowe's grocery store in Fort Stockton, Texas, I bought this Vienna sausage can. It's from Armor Foods. It's at their plant, Fort Madison, Iowa. Okay. When I was over there at a uh, Eagle Pass, I went to HEB, and they had their own brand of uh, Vienna Sausage. Same production facility, okay. The, um, oh. I think theirs was called some like Country Life Vienna Sausage. They all had this private label names, you know. Uh, let's see. Kind of hard to have cheese and crackers and sausage without the crackers. And then what are you going to do? Not have hot sauce with it? I don't think so. Louisiana hot sauce from Louisiana, New Iberia. Okay. Well, oh, so I did a video showing that HEB being a sausage brand. I did a video for the Frio 6.0. I, I had deleted it. I didn't like the way it came out, various reasons. But um, you can read my written reviews, and they're very bad. It was, I mean, the reviews are good, but the beer was bad. It was a D. I drank the whole 24 ounce can, but I just didn't like it. Now, Brad, Brad's beer review said he thought it was okay. But I just thought it was just awful. Now, <clears throat> I gotta get this cheese away from me. The Limburger is so aromatic, it will interfere. This is a spicy thing. Uh, it's very bready, it's sharp, and it, there's some spice to it. I don't know what kind of hops. It's a spicy or sharpness, I don't know. I've never seen this beer in the United States, okay? Only in Mexico, and the only place I ever saw it in Mexico was in Piedras Negras in Coahuila State. Never seen it in Tamaulipas, and I don't recall seeing it in Chihuahua. So it smells pretty good. It's, you know, very mellow in the aroma, but there's that little sharpness there, that little twang uh, of whatever. I'm wearing this jacket. It's about 56 degrees today. Breezy. I'm going to take it off a little bit. Breezy. It's becoming sunny, um, but a little too cool maybe to wash the car. The wind is pretty kicked up. A little muted flavor. Maybe some odd straw, a little sour dough, sourdough bread perhaps. Bitterness is low, maybe 10 to 12 IBUs. Sweetness, so like one out of five hop cones on a Cyclops scale. Sweetness would be two out of five. The finish is crisp, the body's medium, a little slick. Um, it's a strange one. A lot of lacing, and this glass is so clean. Um, it's not like all the rest. There's almost a little green apple, or maybe it was even grape skins. I'm not sure. I know that the JC, JB's, BJCP, <laughs> I'll get it. The BJCP guidelines do allow for that. kind of bland though. I guess overall I'll give it a B minus. You know, it's marginally good. I hate to say that because I was hoping it'd be really good, but um, the Estrella Jalisco is much better. The Heineken, you know, the Dos Equis, the Dos Equis Ambar is much better. 
the Victoria's light years, not really, but you know, it's a good amount better. Bohemia Classico is light year, well, not really, but you know, a good deal better. So, so I guess this is like one of the, the only one I didn't like also too much was that Montejo. And how's a butch but the Montejo, that wasn't too good. This one's sort of like that, it's like marginally good. If I, I wouldn't buy it again. I mean, I wouldn't say, oh, don't drink it. It's... Now, I think with the taste, the flat taste, and the, the kind of strange smell, I'm going to have to drop it, too, into the sea. It's fair. If it was bad, if it tasted bad, I would give it a D. Okay? Because, okay, here's the sausage, here's the cracker, here's the Limburger. Um, D I reserve for bad if it tastes just, you know, openly bad. This does not taste bad, it just doesn't taste like too much. Seems like Armour has the um, the lockdown on the um, Vienna sausage production in America over there at Fort Madison, Iowa. That's Pinnacle Foods. Armour is owned by Pinnacle Foods. Um, so if you get a, a can of these and it says P4247. Best by February 17, 2019. Got the date, guys. But if you see P4247, that's poultry. That's an establishment code. Poultry. And that's the code number. 4247 is that establishment. The meat processing plant for uh, Armor Pinnacle Foods. Okay, And I've seen pictures of it on the internet. It's a very large facility. And it's not just these coming out of that place. All right. Mm -hmm. The cheese is wonderful. Yeah, it's six forty-nine for only eight ounces. That's sort of a special treat that I only get once a year, maybe twice a year. So. Mm mm mm. The sausage, well, I mean, what do you expect? It's a Vienna sausage. You know what that is. It'll give you enough salt to last the rest of the week. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all come on down to New Orleans. <laughs>